How's it going, everybody? I'm back in Fallout 4. This time, I'm at Taffington Boathouse outside of the house. Uh, I'm going to be building a junk wall. I'm just going to take um, some of the few things that they added in with mods, and I'm going to try to build a junk wall out of it instead of just using the like pre-made junk walls or whatever uh, in the junk fences section. I'm going to try to make them out of stacks of vehicles. Um, I really got this idea from a junkyard in the game, actually, uh, just walking around through one, noticing, like, that would be, like, a really good place for a settlement, uh, and in the game, even, I mean, gunners set up there all the time, and raiders do and stuff, so I felt like, why not have one around one of my settlements like that, like, like a junkyard, pretty much. And so, uh, first I just went ahead and I decided to stack up some cars because, like I said, in a junkyard, uh, there's tons of cars stacked up on top of each other. And to keep it a little bit more fortified, because, of course, you can climb through those cars, really. I, I was just going to fence off the outside to make it a little bit more secure, you know. And so I go ahead and I place a couple fences around the outside. And I'm real pleased with how this actually turned out in the end. Uh, it looks really good. And this is kind of only the first part of my junk walls because I do leave some gaps and you guys will notice that. But in uh, in another video, I'll, I'll, I'll fix that. Uh, I actually had a... I have a few videos because I didn't want to make one like 30 minute long video so I have this one and another one that ha includes this junk wall um, because I just couldn't cut it down enough for it to really be uh, short enough for me to upload it. I didn't want to post a 30 minute video of just me building a junk wall and I mean even at double speed it was gonna be that long so to save you guys time so you don't have to watch it all at once I'm just gonna cut it uh, at a certain point show you guys what I had built so far and I'm gonna go back another time and I'll finish both sides of the junk wall and uh, one of the biggest uh, issues with this settlement is actually this side where I'm building now you can you can do a good job at like going around that building and maybe like connecting it to the building but on the other side of the build um, it just goes straight into the water so it's kind of hard to block off that area really because if unless you have fences going down into the water you really can't do much about it and I don't really want to do that at all um, because I do have plans for the water area uh, which you guys will see in the future but I knew that I wanted it to be like a junkyard like I said so I went ahead and I uh, I went ahead and I placed like a uh, little fence or whatever what I'm ahead and make sure I wanted to see how it looked opening up if it opened up all right against the uh ground and I didn't want it to be glitched in when it was open so then I pretty much I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna do some decorations uh which I included in this uh because these are actually i mean even though they are kind of like decorations, it is part of the wall. Because, I mean, concrete blocks and stuff like that. And you'll see in a moment I actually decorate the cars a little bit. Because um, I had some ideas for how to prevent people from being able to shoot through the gaps in the cars. And I just go ahead and I try to block that off. And at first I was just going to put some sandbags in front of the fence. But you'll see I changed my mind pretty quickly because those actually fit right in the doorway. And I thought that it looked really well uh, there. And so I went ahead and I put it there. 
and then I uh, I just try to give it some texture and uh, depth by adding some like cinder blocks behind it and uh, just a couple more details around the build to make it seem a little bit more real I mean just like stuff is thrown around rather than how it was before open and stuff and if you guys don't like me just like showing you all these like in these extra details like the concrete uh, or the cinder block walls and stuff let me know it's not a big deal I can cut these kinds of things out uh, but I just think that they're kind of important to the build um, because it makes it look like a more real wall rather than just some cars stacked up it looks a little bit more defended and uh, I thought about doing it to the other side too but I decided not to and I decided to throw down some sandbags like maybe there was plans to put down a few more and I actually pillared this one in which I, I usually don't bother because they when you put the sandbags on top of cinder blocks and stuff they kind of glitch in that's how the single sandbags do and I didn't want to look at, want it to look that way so I went ahead and I placed it that way with the pillar and then I was trying to get these to work properly but when I placed this one from that angle it just looked kind of like it was floating so I just went ahead and I turned it around because that at that angle it would go to the ground and so now, uh, to make it look like it's on the side of the road, I actually threw on some of these guardrails. Uh, they're on the other side of the road, too. But I thought that they kind of fit in, considering they're on both side or they're on one side of the road. I was going to go ahead and add them to this side as well. And, like I said, it's just some extra detail. I'm actually getting really close to being finished with uh, Taffington Boathouse. I'm pretty unsure of where I'm going to be going next. I actually need to really work on the storyline so, like, and go farther in the game to unlock some more settlements and stuff because as of now, I'm kind of just, just unlocking settlements as I go and then that's what I build on. Uh, wherever they send me. I build it up before I move on to the next one and uh, I have a few unlocked after this but I just don't know where I'll go next I have uh, I have an old build that I did in Abernathy Farms that I want to show you guys but since I've kind of changed up my style to where I no longer just show you the finished build it kind of doesn't make sense to show you it um, so I may just redo it uh, I may be able to do it better or something like that. On this side, I wanted to have another... I mean, I wanted it to be scrappy like a junkyard or something like that, that. So on this side, I wanted to have another vehicle. And so I went ahead went with a bus. And to prevent it from floating or anything like that, um, I go ahead and mess with it here for a little bit, trying to get it to work. But now it won't work at all, which is so weird. I don't understand why this game does this sometimes. But pretty much I just wanted it to be right on the edge of the fence so that it would just be part of the junk wall. And uh, I have a pretty good idea whenever I put the bus open like that on the end uh, down. I had a really good idea for another build. And you guys will see that. Um, that'll be the next video. I included the other half of the junk wall in the other video as well. And, uh, yeah, I just thought it ended up looking a lot better. And with these, these are just decorations again. But, like I said, the other half of the junk wall I included with the next, uh, with that idea I had for the bus. Because neither of them were really long enough to have as their own video so I wanted to just put them together uh, but it ended up being a lot longer than I really intended it was really just uh, I didn't think that the second half of the junk wall whenever I recorded it 
was long enough to be in its own video and I didn't want to post like a a four minute video of a half of a junk wall so I went ahead and I uh, just finished up what I was starting here and uh, as you can see I think it looks really good especially just for like a small part of a junk wall I think that it looks really scrappy and really realistic but you guys will see this finished uh, in the next video and I really hope you guys enjoyed this build um, I'm having a lot of fun here at Taffington Boathouse like I had I've said in all my other videos anyway if you guys like this build make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe and let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one